Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Continental Industrial Gut, Summit nicht mehr weiß. here in Hannover at the Hannover Messe. It's great to have you all here. And I don't have to tell you that we are living in an exciting uh, time right now. Because of uh, digitalization, everything is changing, the industry is changing, and of course, the business units of Continental as well. So not only is the industry becoming smarter, but also the products and <coughs> solutions. And uh, one of the big benefits of this change for customer is that life is becoming easier. And that's exactly what we want to talk about with Airspring Systems. Um, this is a business unit at Continental. And the <coughs> title of the next talk is called Smart Air Springs, how our smart industry solutions can make our customers' life easier. And I'm very pleased to welcome on stage now three people, three experts, and starting with the honor of uh, the Red Pack. Uh, please welcome on stage the head of innovation management uh, from Contitech Air Spring Systems, Dr. Marta Schulz. Nice to have you here. Hello. And of course, I would like uh, to welcome on stage the head of sales industrial Hello. applications at uh, Contitech <laughs> Airspring Systems, Carsten Klages. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the head of development and application technology at Contitech Airspring Systems, Dr. Herwig Peters. So. Great to have you here, and uh, for the beginning, it would be great uh, if you uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves, and maybe you can tell us uh, some information about what Airspring Systems is doing. So we start with you, Marta. Yes, so I'm the innovation manager of the business unit Airspring Systems. We have uh, two and a half, more than two and a half thousand employees. We have production sites in more than 10 countries. And uh, here, within innovation, we are taking a look at the market, at the, market uh, at the developments on the market, technological trends, and we ask ourselves, how can we make the life of our future customer better by developing the airsprings of the future? So this is what we do. <laughs> But of course, it's teamwork, so I would like yes. to hand yeah, over to my of, colleagues. Of course, it's the afternoon session right now. Hopefully, everybody is waking up right now here. So, um, yeah, Carsten Klages, Head of Sales. So, uh, our view is from the, from the global side. And um, I, globally, it's interesting uh, of, of a huge variety of industries that we have and uh, of different regions, the cultural backgrounds, and then finding trends and finding visions. Uh, this is something that we're working on right now, and this is uh, quite interesting. Okay, great. Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Herwig Peters. I'm responsible for engineering for the product family Airsprings. <coughs> and uh, my job is to look at two sides of the engineering. On the one hand side, I'm looking at the more traditional topics like rubber and reinforcement fabrics. But on the other hand, I'm looking at the current topics like sensors and connectivity, data, digital. And it's uh, very interesting to fuse these topics together. Perfect. So, uh, Havik, uh, let's uh, start our talk. Um, as I said, Sorry. the whole, the entire industry is changing. Um, so tell us uh, what market and technology trends uh, will have a big effect on uh, your business? Right. Um, so, for me, uh, a big keyword is uh, connectivity. And let me go a bit into depth. So we see this massive and ongoing trend of devices getting connected to the internet. Um, getting to the internet, building huge networks of connected devices, and then on top of that, uh, the application layers that uh, live on the cloud or live in distributed <coughs> networks uh, like the blockchain. So going back to connectivity, we already have billions of devices that are connected to the internet. Uh, devices that were made to communicate, like your smartphone, uh, your smartwatch. On the other hand, we still have billions of devices that are not connected to the internet. Um, sensors, machines, vehicles. And they're not yet connected, but they will get connected. 
And um, this raises a couple of interesting questions. So the first question is, why? Why do I want to connect all these devices? And um, everyone is feeling the push, the urge to go forward and connect their devices. But at the same time, still many participants in the market, they feel challenged to really answer the question, OK, why? Um, what's the immediate benefit of going forward and connecting everything to the internet? That's the first question. Second question is, how do I connect uh, my devices to the internet? Um, luckily, we have a lot of technology already available to do that. But it is still tricky. How do I take this new technology and integrate it into my existing proven products? It's not always easy. And then a third question is, um, what do I connect these devices to? Um, I, have a, I use a metaphor. As, as soon as I connect my devices to the internet, they start to talk. But I need someone or something to talk to. So that could be <coughs> the cloud, could talk to the cloud, or could be distributed networks again, like the blockchain. So you see, there are many questions, and there are no final answers yet. But the wheels of change, they are set in motion, and I'm certain that this trend uh, will persist. So how will uh, all of these changes affect the development of uh, yeah, new technologies and uh, solutions? Yeah, so um, I was talking before when I introduced myself about the traditional side of things that I'm dealing with, the rubber, and then the new side of things, the electronics. And now we have more and more uh, new requirements, um, more data, more digital, uh, more connectivity. And we need to respond to that. And um, there's still a challenge, because often it is not really clear what the requirements uh, actually are. Um, and that is because many partners and participants in the market are still finding their own way into the market. So um, we need to uh, listen very carefully to the market and, and see what everyone needs and go step by step and work together uh, with our partners and customers to, uh, tackle, to tackle this change. Okay, Carsten, you have also <coughs> set the strategic goal um, to be a complete and innovative system and solution provider and to shape the mobility of tomorrow. How are you doing that? Yeah, first of all, we thought that we are a provider of a system So in the past. So it's, it's an Aspring system that we're providing all the years. So but we learned all the years right now in the past that it is not. So we, we, the system is more than that we, what we thought before about it. So. Um, and um, I'm coming a little bit down from, from the basic side, so about talking about internet and so on. So um, it's, it's talking about um, the, the, the product that we have, um, the quality product, the Airspring. Um, and we are quite happy here to, to presenting the sensor. So the sensor is basic um, to, to come into approaching the, <coughs> the, the system into it. Um, so without the sensor, nothing is possible. So, and, and this is something um, that we can go in, in discussions with all the contacts that we have. So we have a lot of contacts to uh, different industries, as I mentioned before. So around the world, globally, with, uh, with all a variety of, of industries. And um, what we're learning right now is that every, every, every industry, every customer has, has made the same topic. Yeah? And, and this makes quite interesting. So we're talking about railway or of highway initiatives. So, but at the end is that they have the same topic. And, and this is to find out and, and see right now how we can approach them. So and at the end, it's making uh, the business and the work for the customers make it easier and make it safe. One uh, system solution that your business unit has already um, <coughs> developed is uh, the new air spring system. So please tell us how smart are these <laughs> uh, new smart, continental smart, smart, air <laughs> springs? Yeah, smart is always a nice word. Um, yes. I, let me tell it a little bit different. So um, everybody's talking. I have some press works this day. So it's. I, I want to describe it like that. Um, everybody knows continental and uh, Conditech, and we are providing a lot of really high quality products from the rubber side. The same for us as the Airspring. But our product is high quality and good, but stupid. So 
what we have to do right now is uh, to bring more communication into it, to make it more intelligent. Mm -hmm. So and this is something that, that, that it's, was our target first. Yeah, so, so, so what makes uh, intelligent air springs uh, uh, so special? And maybe you can tell us um, as well the benefit for the customer. Yeah, um, the, 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 what quite new here is with the sensor is that um, the, the customers in the market get the opportunity uh, to measure pressure, temperature, high, and with the high, the position. So, and uh, what we have here right now, the benefits, it, it's electronic uh, without any contact, and it's safe, it's secure. So it's, 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 um, it's fully integrated in, this, in, the, uh, in the air spring system, in the, syst in the air spring. So um, it's completely um, free of any uh, rental from the outside. So, um, and... Um, the, the different uh, from the people that knows about <coughs> us from our product, there is no differences in the first that you can see. So the existing air bell or air spring that we're providing into the market looks near the same like that we have right now with the integrated sensor. The only difference is that you have cable looking outside. This is the only difference. So that means the advantage for the customers, uh, you can bring it into the market, into the machines, into the vehicle uh, with the same installation space, specifications like they have right now. Marta, not only uh, the product is changing, uh, but also the way we work. Um, what can you tell us about that topic um, at Airsprings? Is it already built into your business unit? Yes, so this is definitely a very important topic for us. Um, because, uh, of course, the environment is changing and we are constantly changing ourselves as well. And uh, on our agenda, we have a new work style and agile methodology. And the reason for this, or our key motivation was that we have noticed that uh, we cannot foresee what will happen. And with the traditional structures within the company, we are not able to be fast enough. And uh, we want to be the first on the market. And therefore, we question uh, questioned existing structures. And we have changed a lot. To provide you an example how we live this, um, some uh, time ago, a colleague of us, or four colleagues of us, uh, had a good idea, had a good innovation idea, and uh, they were not working in the R&D department, they were working in normal positions, and we thought, it's a really promising idea, how can we make it grow? And uh, we have taken these colleagues off of their full-time jobs to allow them to focus on the development of this idea, um, to uh, let go from daily business, and we have also put them in a special building so they really can get focused. We provided them specific uh, support to enable them to grow the idea further by business development, by digital experts. And uh, yes, it's great to see now how far the idea has developed and it re really worked. Because also for us, of course, uh, it's not easy because these people have full-time jobs. But uh, we want to focus on the future, and uh, this means for us that really go for it. So this was one example, but of course we do much more than that. Mm, it also changed how we realize innovation ideas in general. So in the past, we were working with traditional project management methods, and we were quite successful with this. But today we are working on very, very complex innovation ideas, on systems, on digital products, as you heard before. And here, traditional in, uh, project management methods are not enough. Um, and they do not provide the desired results for us. And therefore, we s set up a different structure. So now we have autonomous teams which work on innovation ideas. And it's not that we talk with the customer and then fully develop a pro uh, product and then we deliver to the customer. It's a co-creation. And it offers us the advantage that when we discover something new uh, within the project, we can discuss uh, uh, new opportunities with the customer and we can constantly uh, change and adapt. And in this way, we are able to deliver better results. So to create the industrial infrastructure and the mobility of tomorrow, you have to bundle your internal resources and your networking. So um, please tell us, how is Continental and Airsprings doing it? 
Yes, so there are plenty ways how we do it. First of all, when we only start taking a look at us as a business unit, we are Airsprings, and here we have different segments, and all the segments are specialized on something. We have great colleagues here, as mentioned before. We are a large business unit with more than 2,500 people uh, in different countries, so we can use this, because when colleagues in one segment develop a smart Airspring or a different Airspring, which is uh, for the new market, we can ask ourselves, can we apply it in the other segments as well? So they are huge learning effects for us, but of course, we are much more than this great network. We are part of the continental family, and here we have many other business units which have collected know-how and experience through uh, many, many years. And this is very beneficial because we can combine this with our deep know-how on the Airspring and this experience. And we can, uh, when developing new ideas, we have already development partners with all the competences that we need for developing new projects. So we have competence on sensorics, we have competence uh, on different materials, we have 3D printing, so we have all this within the company. And here size is clearly an advantage, especially when thinking about new solutions and new systems which are on the way. For uh, the, yeah, sure. Something you want to add something? On, right? this is really interesting and in she said changes and right now um, uh, she mentioned about um, different business units uh, we, we're standing here for the air springs but um, if you're looking around in the booth here you see the changes first and you see how we are combining all the activities um, at, at this exhibition right now we see just conti -tech, continental so the industry part but it's more so we're talking with the automotive divisions uh, we we combining all the knowledge that we have in our in our complete company of Continental together, and that makes interesting. And changes you can see on this uh, wonderful booth. Um, people knows us from Continental all the years before knows about how booths are looks like, and you see the changes since last year. How we are changing ourselves. Uh, it looks more fresh, and it's combining. I like this booth because of the structure. It's combining the old fashioned view with the vision that we have, come combining old style with, with electronic devices. So this is, and this is, this is a, a really interesting time that we have as an add-on to you, what you said. Yes. Talking about vision, I have another <laughs> question. It's the last one, and it's one question for each of you. So uh, what is your personal vision uh, of the mobility of tomorrow, and how can Airsprings be part of it? So. I would say ladies first, yeah? Ladies first, <laughs> Thank of course. You. So my personal vision for Airspring is that we uh, develop a connected Airspring that is smart, but uh, our focus is not only to develop uh, very good technology, we want to develop solutions that will make the life better on, of our future customers. And this is really the most important thing for us. Carsten? Yeah, for me, it's... Uh, getting information, for example, of safety reason. Uh, keyword is predictive maintenance. Um, for, from machines and vehicles, um, wherever you are, um, coming closer from the vision to reality. <laughs> and the okay. last words, Harry. Last but not least, I hope uh, <laughs> my vision for tomorrow. Uh, so my vision would be that uh, every sensor, every machine, and every vehicle gets connected to the internet and enables us to have perfect network efficiency. And I hope that in future, Airsprings will be the one who delivers the tool to achieve this goal. Perfect. So everything is on record. So in the next years, if everything comes through, what you said, and you can say, hey, I said it, in Hanover at the Hanover Messe. So, Thanks for <laughs> listening. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, now you can give them one more time a big applause. Thanks for being here on stage. Thank you. And you You're stay welcome. with us here, right? Thank Good. you. Okay. See you soon at bye bye. 3 p.m. again. <laughs>